Well, on the road to reopening, eager fans will be back in the stands today for the 153rd running of the Belmont Stakes. Attendance will be limited and restrictions will be in place. CBS 2's Karen Dillon joins us live from Elmont with more. Good morning, Karen. Well, Cindy, what a difference a year makes. Last year, the stands here at Belmont Park were completely empty due to the pandemic. But today, a limited number of fans, about 11,000 people, will be allowed inside to watch the horses race. And many of the fans and businesses in this area that we've spoken to say they're thrilled about it. A gigantic benchmark in Long Island's recovery. The Belmont Stakes is back for eager fans, and businesses in and around Belmont Park are ready for the races. Restaurants, cafes, and Main Street merchants are banking on a spike in business. This is a big weekend, not just in celebration of the stakes, but commerce here in the area. Uh, we are sold out this weekend and have a waiting list, and that hasn't happened in a very long time. And the ladies who lunch are ready to go too. They're planning to sip the Belmont Jewel, bourbon, pomegranate juice, and a special mix, shaken, not stirred, of course. And once again, tourists are coming back to the iconic track from all over the world. I feel really great because uh, this is the first time that I actually have left Pennsylvania since the beginning of 2020, so hooray. I mean, I came from North Carolina. This is the first race I've been to since COVID. The fact that we can go and have fun and watch the horses and talk and socialize and eat and drink and all of that stuff, semi-normally feels wonderful. How are you? Those who race are ready too. Jockeys, owners, trainers, practicing down the stretch before the big race. Eduardo Jones's horse is here from Saratoga. She's her second, number five. Oh, and you're not even jumping up and down. Nah, I've been in the business for a little over 25 years. And while normally the Belmont attracts about 90,000 fans, more if there's a triple crown in play. Those who will be here are just happy to be in the stands. They'll be split into vaccinated and unvaccinated sections and will be required to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test before entry. The Allied Double R adding extra trains to accommodate the masses, many of whom will be wearing their fascinators. More fascinators than hats. What we're seeing was a lot of color. People are ordering color to celebrate. So there's a lot to look forward to today on and off the track. The races kick off later this afternoon. We're live this morning at Belmont Park. Karen Dillon, CBS 2 News. Karen, I'm wondering how this has been for you because earlier there was horse after horse passing you in the background. Yeah, it's been really amazing, Cindy. I have to say, this is actually my first Belmont Stakes, so it's been incredible to be here and to see everybody setting up and the horses going by. It's amazing. Right now, they're um, they're prepping for the races that start around 11:30, so the horses are gone, but I'm sure they'll be back before we're done for the day. All right, well, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much.